they can't stop Dane. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dane, and we back with another video. So, all right, before I hop into this video, right, I'm gonna need each and every one of y'all go hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed, I need you to hit that subscribe button. We like 30 subs away from 5,000. Yeah, so make sure you go hit that sub button, drop a like on the video, and comment down below what type of videos y'all want to see. And yeah, let's hop into the video. Let's play that intro. Let's get it. All right, so as y'all can see by the title, right? It says Obsidian or Shadow Shard. Which one should you choose? This is what I'm gonna explain to y'all right now. Shadow Shard, as you can see, most of my guns is um Shadow Shard or Sunbeam, whichever one you wanna call it. But this gun right here, most of the guns is most of, my, most of my guns is Sunbeam. I I don't think I have a bright core gun. I don't think I have a bright core gun. So I, let's find a gun. I need to find a gun to upgrade, so I could show y'all. What gun can we use? Um, let me go back to my schematics. Um, ta ta ta. What about the Candy Corn LMG? I think I just seen it. Yeah, right here, the Candy Coin LMG. So I think I might do. I'm gonna use this one right here. So I don't. I think you don't start choosing Sunbeam or Obsidian yet, Obsidian or Shadow Shard yet until you get to like stage four, Star Four. So let's just upgrade right now. Let's keep upgrading. Let's keep upgrading. It doesn't act right here, right? Let's see. Nope, I think it's the next one. I think it's the next star. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. All right, so right here, right? As you get to this part right here, the left side is Obsidian. Right side is Shadow Shard. So this right here, as you can see, damage 4,000. Headshot damage 5,000. We go over here. Headshot damage is 5,000. Headshot is 7,000. So as y'all can see the difference, the difference is like a thousand damage difference. The only difference with Obsidian is that the durability and the fire rate is different. So for the Obsidian, the durability and the fire rate is lowered when you switch it to Shadow Shard. Shadow Shard improves the the damage and stuff but um obsidian gives you more durability and a faster fire rate but that's a, that doesn't prove nothing because you're not gonna see the full capability of the gun if it's an obsidian because when you put it on shadow shard that's when most of the damage start coming in if you put it on um, obsidian, it nerfs the, it takes away some of the damage, so that's why it's good for you to use shadow shard. Most of my guns is shadow shard. Most of my guns is shadow shard. I think I have like one or two guns that that are um obsidian, because you cannot put our, um explosive weapons to shadow shard. Explosive weapons has to be obsidian or bright core. So that's why some of my weapons be bright core. I think I have one or two swords that is bright core. But as y'all can see with the candy um candy corn LMG right here, way difference once you put it to shadow shard. All right, so I'm gonna tell you when to put. It. I'm gonna tell you. So all right, so you see if you have a lot of materials to like as soon as your gun breaks, because once you put it to shadow shard, it's gonna break faster than when it's on obsidian. So if you have like a lot of materials to craft your gun as soon as they break. I recommend putting it on Shadow Shard. But if you have problem finding material whenever your gun breaks, 
I think you should leave it on um obsidian because obsidian on obsidian your gun lasts longer than the shadow shard. So if you have a lot of materials, put it on obsidian. If you have problem finding materials to craft your gun, leave it on obsidian because it lasts longer. I think you get 375 durability for obsidian and 300 for shadow shard. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's go to my schematics real quick. Let's check out my weapons. As y'all can see, Sunbeam, Bright Core. As I said, explosives is only Bright Core. You can't put explosives to nothing else. It's only Bright Core. We got. What else we got? Oh, this is. This have max per max perks. Oh, I don't know. We got the helium shotgun. We got the. Every, every, most of our thing. We got the silent specter. Sunbeam, Sunbeam, Sunbeam. Only the Santa's little helper, cause that's a um explosive weapon. So you can't put an explosive weapon to Sunbeam. He has to stay on Brightcore. Got the Bobcat, Sunbeam, the Coco, Sunbeam, the most Sunbeam, Sunbeam. Oh, we got a oh, oh the dragons were. So I'm gonna tell you what happened to this. So I had this weapon since like. The first New Year's event. The first um, New Year's event. So. When I was upgrading. I didn't know that. Brightcore was better than Sunbeam. Because I didn't like have this video to watch. To know if it's better. So. When I start learning that Sunbeam is better than Brightcore. That's when I started changing my things. That's when I started changing. And transitioning to Sunbeam. We got the Hunter Killer. Oh yeah, the Hunter Killer. I remember I had the Hunter Killer on Brightcore, but I recycled it. Got a different Hunter Killer and put the perks on that Hunter Killer. So I recycled the whole the old one and put it on the new one. So I made it Sunbeam. We got the Mercury LMG. We got we got everything. We got everything. Oh, I got a sword. Oh, I got a Brightcore sword. Stormblade Brightcore. I don't remember. I don't really use swords, so I don't remember. I barely use melee weapons, so yeah. We got the noble launcher, bright core. But as I said, right, as I said, right, make sure you put it to shadow shard, because if you don't put it to shadow shard, you're not gonna see the full capability of the gun. You're not going to get the full experience out of the gun. So make sure you put it to Shadow Shard. What else? Is there anything else I need to tell y'all? Is there anything else I need to tell y'all? I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think everybody knows how to find Sunbeam, right? Everybody's supposed to know how to find Shadow Shard and Sunbeam and Brightcore and Obsidian, right? So those things, those those um minerals are usually found in like caves and stuff. So if you don't know how to find them, all you gotta do is look for a cave. I don't really do a lot of farming. Um I'm not sure how I get my materials, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I just be having a bunch of materials somehow. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know how I be having so much materials. But yeah, basically, that's what I have to say to y'all. I'm just helping y'all out. I'm just showing y'all. I'm not. I'm just trying to make sure that y'all don't make the same mistakes that I did when I didn't know. So make sure you put it to shadow shard. Make sure you put it to shadow shard. Cause if you don't put it to shadow shard, you're not gonna get the full capability of the gun. It's not gonna do as much as it's supposed to do as you can see by the difference right here the damage everything changes everything changes let me check if i have some um, material oh yeah as you can see i have i think i have more bright core than this where's my bright core wait let me check in my storage oh yeah look four stacks of bright core i have a bunch of bright core i have some shadow shard and to be honest, I don't know how 
I just I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I got all of those just by playing the game. You play the game so you play the game so much you don't even know when you get materials. That's I'm just by playing the game, and yeah, that's all I have to say. And remember to subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm I'm, I'm gonna try to drop a video like every day. I'm gonna try to drop I'm gonna try to drop a video every day. So comment down below what y'all wanna see. And it's your boy Dan. I'm out.